Hi, fourth graders. So today in class, you talked about what things you would want to teach your first grade buddies about, about the animal that you are becoming an expert in. And we had some really, really great ideas about what things we would want to teach them about. And what I thought was really cool about this is that these reminded me of the headings that we see in expository nonfiction books. We talked about wanting um, to teach our buddies about lots of things like what the animal looks like, where it lives, what it eats, what it's like um, predators and threats are. And we wanted to teach some cool facts about our animal as well. And that got me thinking, those would make perfect headings for the books that we are going to make next week. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get ourselves ready. We're gonna get ourselves all nice and organized to start thinking and putting all of the cool stuff that we're learning about our animal in our reader's notebook. So we are going to set up some pages and we are gonna keep going back to these pages and using them all week. So we are going to, whenever we're reading or watching a video from our Epic collection, we're gonna come back and add to these pages that we're setting up right now. And then next week, these will become the headings to our book that we are going to make. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to a new page in our reading notebook. And the first thing that I want you to do is to look back at your web that you made about what you already know about your animal. And think about if you've already answered, if you already know some of these questions, do you already know anything about how your animal looks? Maybe you sketch noted about its description, what it looks like. What do you already know about your animal's habitat? Where does it live? I said, I think mine lives in the water and on land. Well, then threats, what kind of threats does it have? Did you write anything about that on your web? I wasn't sure what threats the otter had and that told me that's something I'll probably need to research more and read more about on Epic. And then um, what does it eat? I said, I think that mine eats fish. And then any more cool facts, like I wrote, they float with other otters. So we already know some things that we're gonna be able to put in our book and then we're gonna become experts and be able to add even more things. So what we're gonna do is we're going to set up new pages for each of these things that we talked about wanting to teach our buddy class about. So on this first page, we're gonna to wanna to use a whole page because we're gonna be adding to this all week. So we are just gonna write the titles together right now. So for this first one, we are going to, for all of them, I am gonna write the name of my um, animal first so that I remember what I'm researching. So mine's an otter. Otter, and we talked about wanting to tell our buddies what our animal looked like. So this is gonna be otter description. So that this will be the page. Think about what things you would write on this page. What things are you gonna be looking for as you read that you'll wanna to add to this page? I might write some of those things in a list over here. So I would write what it looks like. Maybe it's color or anything else. So maybe make a list of the things right here. Make a list of the things that you would want to know about your animal's description. Add some things here. What things do you wanna know about its description? And then when you go back and you are reading in your Epic collection, you will add things about your animal's description to this page. And it's nice and already and all set up for you. And that's something that really awesome readers do is they set up their pages to be ready to learn about whatever they're reading about. So we've got our description page and then we're gonna turn the page. And something else we talked about was wanting to um, tell our buddies in our book about where the animal lives. So for that, I am going to write otter habitat. Remember habitat is where an animal lives. So write that as your title to your page. Get that one all ready to go. And then on this other page at the top, add to your list. What are you going to write about, about your animal's habitat? What do you want to know? So I'm, asked, so I'm reminding myself that the otter's habitat means where does it live? And then I have a question um, that I'm gonna add that's for the otters. Is it on land or in the water more? That's something that I wanna know 
about my animal. So add a question or something that you would like to know about your animal's habitat on this page. And make sure that you're leaving lots of space because remember, we're gonna keep adding to these pages as we read. So now we've got two pages ready to go for when we read otter description and the habitat. Now we're gonna go to the next page. Remember, you're writing your animal at the top, not otter. You're either writing about monarch butterflies, the beaver, raccoons, squirrels, deer, or ants. So then I'm gonna do with the next one. Something else that we talked about wanting to teach our buddies about was about um, the food, what it eats. So I'm gonna write otter food. Get my title all ready to go, get my page all set up so I'm ready to start reading and learning tons about my animal. And then ask some questions about what you want to know about your animal. Maybe to go back to what we learned about last week, maybe we're gonna write, is it a, try to remember what these means, is it a carnivore? That means, does it eat meat? Is it an omnivore? That means it eats meat and plants. Or is it an herbivore? Does it just eat plants? Now we've got that page about the food set up. Let's get our next page set up now. So something else that we talked about was like wanting to know what, um, what threats our animal had. So we're gonna put that on this page. I'm calling mine otter threats. So you'll call it your animal threats. And then ask some questions here. Maybe we want to know what predators are a threat to it. So what predators are a threat to it? That's the question that I have. Maybe you'll write something about pollution. Is pollution a threat to it? So ask your questions there. And then we've got our last page that we're going to set up. And that one was one that I'm really excited about. This is gonna be the page where we just write cool facts. Because who thinks that our buddies are gonna wanna learn cool facts about our animals? Maybe you, you already know, you can think of some things that would make cool facts and you wanna write those right here. So now if we're looking back through, we have our notebooks all set up. We've got a page for to write the description of our animal. We've got a page to sketch note about its habitat. We've got a page to write about its food. We've got a page set up to sketch note about its threats. And we've got a page all nice and set up for cool facts. So now when we are reading on Epic, as you are going to do today, because it is your job today, um, you're gonna go on Epic and read at least one book about your animal and add to this. Every day this week, you're gonna either um, read at least one book or watch at least one video. And you are gonna add to these pages that you already have all set up and ready to go. I'm so excited to see all of the awesome learning that we are going to be doing with this. Great job.